We accomplished so much at the University of California. Any day of the week, people across the university system are working hard to change the world. Whether it be pioneering advances in science that have the potential to improve life for everyone, or local initiatives that positively impact our surrounding communities, the University of California matters. But imagine if your campus came to a halt one day, the result of a natural disaster or human-caused event. What would life be like for the people who work and study there? What about the support staff who make all the excellent teaching, research, and public service possible? Let's take a look at some of the amazing work being done at the University of California that might not be possible if our institutions close their doors. What would happen, for example, if UC Berkeley's Seismological Laboratory couldn't continue developing ShakeAlert, an earthquake early warning system in development that, when completed, could save the lives of millions of Californians? We currently have is this desktop app that will pop up on the screen when it gets information about an earthquake in progress and say how much time there is until the shaking arrives at the location that you've added to it. One of the next steps is to provide that information on cell phones and mobile devices. It could be interfaced with automatic systems to stop BART trains, stop the LASIK surgery, do other things that need to happen instantaneously and without the intervening of a person. UC Ready is a web-based program that enables all of our campuses and medical centers to better prepare to meet the challenges of resuming operations after a major event occurs. UC Ready allows people to easily produce a continuity plan that identifies both strategies for coping with events when they occur and preparations that can be done in advance. So why do faculty and staff need to know how to respond? so that researchers like Kristen Evans can continue their work. The Mouse Biology program at UC Davis is a conglomeration of teaching, research, and service. In the event that we did not have an emergency disaster continuity plan, the risks would be just too great. There are too many lines that we have cryopreserved under our program, and the losses both financially and in just research time to the investigators would be too great if we were to lose all of the lines that we currently maintain here. Uh, for those individuals who would have to recreate these lines from scratch, it would take months and thousands of dollars to replace them. It's not just campus research that makes each UC special. It's the roles we play in our communities as well. At the East Bay Community Law Center, administered by the UC Berkeley Law School, Approximately 5,000 low-income clients are served by the center's legal clinics each year in the areas of housing, health, welfare, and homelessness. What would happen if the East Bay Community Law Center couldn't continue? So the Youth Defender Clinic represents young people in Alameda County who are caught at the intersection of the juvenile justice and education systems. Um, and we represent young people in expulsion proceedings, so school discipline proceedings, as well as special education, as well as their delinquency cases, with the idea being that a delinquency case is never just about delinquency. It's about school, it's about home life, it's about stable housing, it's about maybe immigration, it's about making sure that families have the benefits that they're, the government benefits that they're entitled to. And so one of the um, benefits of being housed here at the East Bay Community Law Center is that we have all of that expertise under one roof. So I like to think that we're a one-stop justice shop. Donna Murphy, the Vice Chancellor for University Relations at UC Santa Cruz, is especially aware of the importance of working with your campus continuity planner to get ready. Planning, the planning sessions for developing a UC Ready plan can be very important to team building, to uh, helping create the conversations that need to be, to make sure there is a clear understanding of what are essential functions, you know, and who's responsible for those six, and who's their backup. I did work at Tulane University doing Katrina, and it was essential. We did not have a great plan, but uh, we did have lists of employees and their phone numbers. So eventually, we contacted everyone and located everyone via text messaging because there was no other way to reach them. And then once we met them and identified where they were, we were able to set up ready talk calls uh, at a certain time and anyone who was available could call in. And then we actually went to work. Filling out the UC Ready Plan, you'll input information about your unit's ability to perform functions at alternate locations, 
backup data, and maintain current contact information for staff, vendors, and key partners. The UC Ready tool will guide you step-by-step -step to create a continuity plan that identifies critical functions, work that is essential in order to continue the mission of the department, information and strategies that will help during and after a disruptive event, and action items that can be started immediately to lessen the impact of emergencies. The continuity planner on our campus was extremely important in both getting me motivated to understand the importance of the UC Ready project and walking me through each step of how to complete that project and most important, keeping me engaged and remembering to keep it updated. Your campus continuity planner is here to help you at any point in the process. Whether you're brand new to UC Ready or just need a little help to finish up, and once your planning is finished, your continuity planner will make sure that you and your colleagues have an opportunity to use your plans in an exercise. So planning is really essential and I celebrate the campus for doing it and I hope everyone takes it seriously. Let's protect what we've got because we've got so much.